New York City has long been known as the city that never sleeps, but its new alias might be the city that is slowly sinking. New York is among the most densely populated coastal areas in the world, with a large portion of its critical infrastructure constructed in low-lying coastal areas. It is no secret that the city is rapidly sinking due to effects of climate change and global warming. But recently, a new study has found that the extraordinary weight of its skyscrapers combined with rising sea levels is contributing to a 1 to 2 millimeters of sinking per year. Some areas of New York are even plunging down at twice this rate. This process could spell trouble for a city around which the sea level has been rising more than twice as fast as the global rate and is projected to rise up to 30 inches by 2050. For the first time ever, researchers were able to show that it's not just climate change that is causing the city to rapidly sink, but human activity, specifically ongoing construction projects, are expediting the catastrophe that's waiting to happen. In today's video, we will examine more about the unseen danger of New York's skyscrapers and how they speed up the city's downfall. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and leave a comment as it's the best way to help us grow as a channel. New York City's surrounding waters are rising at about twice the global average due to glaciers melting from the effects of climate change and seawater expanding. The situation is already critical, as approximately 2.5 million New Yorkers live in the 100-year floodplain, which means they face a 1% chance of experiencing a significant catastrophe each year. In 2012, New York was hit by Hurricane Sandy, which flooded parts of the subway and caused widespread damage, including power blackouts. Then in 2021, Hurricane Ida flooded areas of the city, causing several people to drown. Scientists say both events were worsened by the effects of global heating. Additionally, the city has lost much of its coastal marshlands and sand dunes, which once served as natural defenses against rising sea levels and storms and safeguarded residents in low-lying communities. According to the city's projections, by 2050, more than one-third of Lower Manhattan will be at risk of a storm surge, and by the end of the century, the area will have seen a sea level rise of over six feet. Even under clear skies, one out of every five streets in the neighborhood could be flooded daily by rising tides. To make matters worse, scientists have now discovered a new problem that is causing the city to sink faster than ever. In September 1889, workers put the finishing touches to the tower building. It was an 11-story building that is thought of as New York City's first skyscraper. The tower building is long gone, but its erection marked the beginning of a construction spree that still has not stopped. During this construction boom, numerous high-rise buildings, including residential towers, office complexes, and hotels, have been springing up across the city. This construction boom has contributed to the iconic skyline that the city is known for today. But who knew that it would be the very thing that leads to the city's downfall? As global sea levels are rising and shorelines are changing, it is critical to understanding the impact of human activities, such as greenhouse gas emissions on our warming world. But an important human factor that has only recently come into focus is the effect of urban building loads on coastal land subsidence in New York City. Scientists have used clever combination of computer modeling, satellite measurements and GPS data to estimate the short and long-term sinking rates of different areas of the city and identify the areas most at risk. Researchers from the government's U.S. Geological Survey and the Graduate School of Oceanography at the University of Rhode Island calculated the mass of all the buildings in New York City for a study which they say is the first to look specifically at the contribution of the built environment on subsidence. Subsidence is the technical term for the sinking or settling of Earth's surface due to natural or artificial causes. When the mass of the 1 million plus buildings that existed across the five boroughs of New York City were calculated, it was concluded that they weighed about 1.7 trillion pounds, equivalent to roughly 1.9 million fully loaded Boeing 747s, or about 140 million elephants, 
or about the mass of 4,700 Empire State Buildings pressing down on the Earth. The study team then used simulations to calculate the effects of that weight on the ground, comparing that with satellite data showing actual surface geology. That analysis revealed the rate at which the city is sinking. The average is about 1 to 2 millimeters a year, with some areas of greater subsidence that are up to about 4.5 millimeters a year. In areas of soft clay-rich soil and artificial fill, researchers found the greatest potential for subsidence, ranging from 75 to 600 millimeters, with a median of 294 millimeters. The lowest impact is in areas where all the foundations are anchored to bedrock, bringing subsidence close to zero. Midtown Manhattan skyscrapers are largely built on rock, which compresses very little while some parts of Brooklyn, Queens, and downtown Manhattan are on looser soil and sinking faster. Some of that seems to correspond with construction projects that are ongoing. This new study raises awareness that every additional high-rise building constructed at coastal, river, or lakefront settings could contribute to future flood risk. It is now clear that New York is sinking faster than sea levels are rising. Lead researcher of U.S. Geological Survey Tom Parsons said that, it's inevitable, the ground is going down and the water's coming up, at some point those two levels will meet. This latest study's approach takes into account the weight of New York City's buildings and how they are contributing to the subsidence of the land beneath them. Subsidence can pose an even earlier flooding threat than sea level rise, and this is not just in New York City. As coastal cities grow globally, the combination of construction densification and sea level rise can increase the inundation hazard. For instance, in the case of Jakarta, the city is sinking so fast that the Indonesian government is building a new capital city elsewhere. Researchers say it will take hundreds of years before New York becomes America's version of Venice, which is famously sinking into the Adriatic Sea but some parts of the city are more at risk. The average elevation in the southern part of Manhattan is only one or two meters above sea level. It is very close to the waterline, and so it is a deep concern. Because the ocean is rising at a similar rate as the land is sinking, the Earth's changing climate could accelerate the timeline for parts of the city to disappear underwater. Understanding how and why the landscape is changing and identifying areas most vulnerable to flooding is essential for making the right preparations to mitigate future sea level rise. Scientists have said that buildings aren't the sole cause of the city sinking, there are a lot of other factors, and the whole point of this study was to educate people in advance before it becomes a bigger problem. The study's findings can help inform policymakers as they draft ongoing plans to combat the rising tides. Do you think that with the right measures New York City can be saved? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.